Oh dear, oh dear. Far too much play. You reckon? Yeah. What's up with you and gearboxes? Phase two. Bearing, the bearing's gone. Possibly. Gearbox are always still spot on from last time. Oh look, it's the bearing race. It might be alright. Might want to be shimmy. But essentially that was all the way up in the housing. Yeah. Which means it wasn't pushing down on the bearing rollers. See, that's the play that we had. Yeah, so that they... bearing obviously stops that play. What's going on down there then? So that's where the race removed, so that's the play we had. Obviously if we put the bearing race in and re-shim it, we should lose that play. And we should be back to a nice solid. Yeah, that's not. What's that just popped up with you, so popped up with time? I think it was being assembled incorrectly to begin with to have that much play. All the housings, oh, see the housings not damaged. See it was all intact. The O-rings are there, so. Yeah, I think from build it wasn't wrong. Let's try and prove our theory anyway. Yeah, let's make it better. So if we just push that down by hand, so you can see that play's already gone. Proper job. That's the shim. Only problem is we don't have any more shims, so we'll have to try and make some. Here's the machine we made the shim out of. Other beer manufacturers are are available, are but available and more advisable. Perfect shim. <laughs> we return, one shim made. Original shim on. This might be a tight fit. Not too bad. Shim number one. Hopefully that's gonna give it enough. pressure on the bearing to then hold it up on the... Which way round beneath the line? There you go. That way. Nope, we need another shim. Another one. Another shim required. 
not too far off, we tried bolting it up. First homemade shim. Second homemade shim. She alright? Yes. Little bit of plate, shaft spins nice. Happy days, happy days. Good little fix, that. Eh? 